So in this video, I'm going to talk about what sebaceous glands are. And so to begin with, sebaceous glands produce sebum, which is an oil secretion that moisturizes your skin and hair. And so what sebum does is it keeps the skin and hair from becoming dry, brittle, and cracked, which is what happens if it doesn't get enough moisture. And so now let's get back to sebaceous glands. And so these flask-shaped glands have a short duct that opens into the hair follicle. And so as you can see, down here is a sebaceous gland, and it opens up into the hair follicle, and so it essentially just goes out. The sebum, I mean. And so the sebum reaches the surface of the skin via the hair follicle. And so another thing to mention is that these sebaceous glands are known as true exocrine glands. And so these glands are found everywhere on the body, except on the palms of your hands, the soles of your feet, the top of the feet, and the lower lip. So they are also found in the greatest number on the face, the upper neck, and the chest. And so during adolescence, these sebaceous glands enlarge and they produce more sebum under the influence of certain hormones called androgens. And then eventually, after about around like age 20, the sebum production begins to decrease. And so another thing to mention is that if the sebaceous gland does not produce enough sebum, your skin is going to be dry. On the other hand, if it produces too much sebum, the skin is oily, and it's called it's a special medical condition called seborrhea. And then, as many of you may know, if the sebum gets trapped in the pore, you can get pimples or acne. And so that pretty much sums it up for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video useful and liked it. If you did, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.